You have a lot of options for adjusting audio and volume settings for music and other sounds in Pinnacle. The first thing you should know about is the audio mixer. That's this icon here above your timeline. It's the bars. When you click it, it opens up a panel that gives you individual track control for your volume. So you can adjust the volume for each track on your timeline individually and separate of each other. That's pretty cool if you set it up where you have one track for your video clips, one track for your music, one track for sound effects. And you want to go in and you want to adjust everything on those tracks together. So if I adjust the volume here, everything on this track will be affected by this volume control, and so on. So if you want to turn up the voices of your speaking parts in the video clips, you can. If you want to turn down all the music on the music track, you can. Um, but sometimes this isn't going to be good enough. Sometimes you need to make individual volume adjustments to each clip separately. So remember, these settings are going to affect everything on the timeline. So they may or may not be helpful to you. But volume keyframing will be really helpful for you. So here's my example. Volume keyframing is an option that you turn on up here in the timeline settings. If you click right here, it's this icon with the lines and the dots. If you click to turn it on, this will allow you to adjust the volume individually for each clip. For example, here's a clip, and this is its default uh, volume. The green line indicates the volume level of the clip. Because I have this turned on, I can now go and adjust the volume by dragging the green bar up or down. So I can mute the clip completely by pulling the green bar all the way to the bottom, or I can make it as loud as possible by dragging it all the way up. So you can adjust this clip separately from other clips. I want this clip to be really loud. Maybe I want this clip to be really quiet. I can go and adjust each one individually. Also good if you have a lot of clips of people speaking and one person in your group talks really quietly but other people are loud. You can adjust those people accordingly so that they sound more balanced and at about the same volume. The other cool part about volume keyframing is that it allows you to adjust even within one clip to adjust the volume to get quiet or loud again um, in the same clip. So here's my example. Let's pretend that this is a video and I want to add background music to it. However, this clip right here, it's important to hear the speaking parts of this clip. So if I add music, and I'm going to drag music down on the timeline, if I add music to my video, and I play the music at the same time as I play this clip, you're not going to be able to hear things very well. Is a hot dog a sandwich? It's too hard to hear the audio in my clip because the music is too loud. But I don't want to just like cut it here and cut it here. I want to make the sound get quieter, the music to get quieter during just this clip. So that's where the volume keyframing comes in. So I'm going to click about here, about on the green volume bar, about where this clip starts. And then notice how it left a dot there. I'm going to click again right next to it. And I'll show you why in a minute. I'm going to do the same thing at the end. I'm going to do another click here and another click here. So I've got these four dots. So what this allows me to do is I can click and drag the dots around, but I'm going to take the second dot and I'm going to drag it down. And I'm going to make it so that the music level goes loud, 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 gradually gets quiet, and then I'm going to mute it. So I'm going to pull this one down too. And I'm going to mute it during this part. Now you can adjust it by pulling this back a little bit. So maybe I want the volume to start to get quiet just before the clip. And the, the longer that it goes, this is the more gradual that it's going to decrease in sound or in volume. And if it's closer together, it'll be a really quick um, transition. So I'm going to just pull it back a little bit, have it gradually get quieter, have it mute during this clip, let's adjust this a little bit, and then I'm going to have it gradually get louder again when it's finished. So this is what it would sound like. Okay, is a hot dog a sandwich? That is an interesting question. And then here's how it sounds at the very end. Yes. Who's Pretty slick, huh? Those volume control settings will allow you to do all kinds of really great things with your video.